Hello and welcome to Microsoft Excel working with advanced functions. This video tutorial is part three in a series of tutorials that are in line with the Excel custom advanced training manual that Shift Key Solutions created for different classroom environments. So what we want to do in this video tutorial, we're going to cover several different functions within our formulas and those will include an if function, sum function, count if, along with a nested and function. So let's get right to it. Here in cell I7 under goal bonus we want to create a calculation that will look at our total sales and see if it is equal to or greater than our goal and if it is equal to or greater than the goal, then we want a bonus by 1% in this case. Now once we create this formula and have this worksheet, it's going to be nice that we can click inside of our bonus rate and simply modify that from 1% to 5% or whatever. And in that case, it'll automatically uh, affect the rest of our worksheet. So here we, we're going to create our formula here. We're going to use a simple if function. So we're going to do equals if, and there it is. And our logical test will be if our total sales, which is F7, is greater than or equal to G7, which is our goal, then, and that's what the comma there indicates, then multiply total sales by bonus rate, which is going to be F7, times h4. Now in this case we need to create h4 as an absolute cell reference. So I'm going to press f4 right now. And it absolutes that reference. And then I'm going to do comma because if it's not, if this is not met, then I just want to return nothing. So I'll put a zero in there and then close that off. Click my enter check mark. There it is. So if I want to verify this is somewhat accurate, I'll just look at see if this total sales was indeed greater than our goal. And yes, it was. And so we're going to do our simple calculation. So I'm going to fill this down. By the way, the way I fill my columns of information down is I, there's a long time I used to click and drag like, like we're all taught to fill things down. Well, I love shortcuts, so I'll share with you right now the quick way to fill this down is to put your cursor on the what's the name of this little thing kind guy right here Do you remember that's right it's called the fill handle so I'm gonna put my cursor on the fill handle and I'm gonna double click and when I do it fills down and it'll fill down as far as the data is or to the end of this data okay so we did our if function there now we want to look at our category bonus and in this, we want to use a sum if function. And this function, what we're looking to do is to not just identify these categories. Last, there's only one that exceeds 115,000. So I want to look to see, identify the one that is exceeding 115,000, and then take that one, multiply it by our bonus rate, and now we're going to give an additional category bonus. So let's talk about that. That's going to be a sum if. So I'm going to do my equal sign h4 absolute times sum if, there it is, sum if the range of b7 through e7 is greater than 115,000. And I'm going to fin finish that off with a quotation and then close parentheses. So let's take a look at this. I'm going to click my enter check mark. So I can see that there is a calculation here. And what our formula is telling us, if I look at this closely, I want to take H4, our bonus rate, and then sum times, that is, take our bonus rate times this range right here, if, and looking for any of the items in here that exceed 115,000. Now, if you look at this formula, you'll see that I encapsulate this area with quotations. That's because we're looking at the entries of these numbers, okay? So we're gonna say, 
greater than 115,000. I'll fill that down. That's a simple calculation right there. Now that looks like quite a bit, so if I'm a manager, I might say that's 1%. Something a little more reasonable, but still give be able to offer some bonus. Naturally, you're going to bonus however you see fit. So here in our number of category bonus hits, we want to look and count the number of categories individuals hit their goal. So we're going to look at Edgar, Tom, Dick, Peter, Sally, Jamie. So I'm going to come to this cell here and I want to put in a function called count if. So I'm going to say equals count if, there it is, and count if. This is for one count. So I'm going to say count if B7 through E7 is greater than 115,000. Close the parentheses. I'm sorry, close the quotations and then parentheses. And so I'm going to click my enter check mark. Looks like I got one hits here. So I'll double click this. And then down here, Tom has two categories that he exceeded 115,000. Dick has two categories exceeding 115,000. Jamie has none exceeding 115,000. So that's why there's no bonus here. Maybe a little conversations in order. But that's not for me to, to determine at this point. So. If I come over to my next column of information here under honor, in this case, I want to do a if function or if formula, but I want to have two arguments in here. So instead of just an if this, then this or this, I want to say if this and this are met, then return this or this. I know I read it without anything on the screen here, but we're going to read it here in just a second. So in this case, I want to say equals, because it's an if, there it is. And then in this case, because I want to have two arguments to be met, I'm going to say and, and then there it is. Now, this, let me finish typing it out and I'll explain it to you. If i7 is greater than zero and k7 is greater than one, then president, president's club. And if not, then just leave it blank. So I'll click my enter check mark here. Okay, so well, looks like Edgar didn't meet the, the requirements. So let's just read this real quick. It's a good habit to get into when you're creating formulas with different functions just to come back and read it. So we're looking at this. We're going to say if and, meaning the and indicates more than one argument to be met, meaning that this argument has to be met and this argument has to be met. Not one or the other. Both have to be met in order to reach this true return. And if not, then they get nothing. Oops, nothing. Okay. So I'm saying if and bonus, general bonus is greater than one and number of category bonuses hit is greater than one, then they get the, the return of President's Club. If not, then nothing. So I'm going to click my enter check mark. Let's fill this down. Let's see who did meet it. All right. Looks like one person met this and that was Tom. Okay. Well, thank you for joining me. That's all the time I have for this video tutorial. I hope it was helpful. And if you didn't know how to do this before, well, now you know. And I strongly encourage you to share this with other folks who might need help with this area of Excel. Thanks for joining me and don't forget to comment.